the very, very first step in changing our lives, in changing our bad habits, regardless of what it may be. The very first step is to acknowledge these bad habits. To acknowledge them, to accept them, to look for them, to ask, what are my shortcomings? What are my bad habits that I need to work on? Because the worst of people are those who live this life thinking that they are guided and upon right guidance. But the path that they're treading is the path that's leading them to the hellfire. Secondly, by recognizing the very nature of this, of this nafs that we all have. Inna nafsa la ammaratun bisu'i illa ma rahima rabbi. Yusuf alayhi salam, he said that this nafs, this nafs within us, it inclines towards evil. Except those upon whom my Lord has had mercy, and they are few among the majority. And so the very nature of our nafs is that it is attracted towards evil. It naturally inclines towards evil. This is its nature, and we need to recognize that. Thirdly, we need to recognize where these bad habits are leading us to. Many of us, we look at them, at our bad habits, and we say that they're small, they're not a big deal. But these baby steps are leading us to our own destruction. The Prophet ﷺ said about one such example, إِيَّاكُمْ kadib, Beware of lying. فَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْفُجُورِ for lying, it leads to immorality, to corruption, to sin. وَإِنَّ الْفُجُورَ يَهْدِي إِلَى النَّارِ And that fujur, that sin, it leads to the hellfire. You may think that one or two lies is okay, but no. You become accustomed to it, and then it becomes a part of your life. It becomes a habit, an evil habit that you become accustomed to. And that is what the Prophet ﷺ was warning us from, that this is what leads to the hellfire. Fourthly, recognize the danger of delaying. Many of us, we think we're young. We have an entire lifetime ahead of us. We have a lot of time to transform ourselves, to change ourselves. But the reality is, that this is only a delusion that has been placed in our minds by our enemy, by shaitan. How many of us can guarantee ourselves to live even another day? If you work hard today, if you put in the effort today, if you struggle against your nafs today, then tomorrow, in the akhirah, you will rest in peace. But if you give in and cave in and be lazy today and, to, and decide to rest today, then in the Akhirah, you won't have any rest.